Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. I'm sorry, I almost said Planet, M Planet Nomads. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've been uh, pretty busy here. I've been trying to get some whole bunch of stone refined. I got some iron. It's not a hell of a lot, but it's going to be enough to at least get everything set up today, because what I want to do uh, is I want to, first of all, I want to get some store proper storage set up, and the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I get this thing running, if I get this thing running, in order to get this thing running, I need to get another one of those built, and in order to get another one of those built, I need to be able to have enough blocks to actually connect it to this so it's all in the same grid so it gets powered, yada yada yada. Uh, this is my temporary storage solution for now. Uh, I'm sorry, my keyboard's been acted up. Uh, but yeah, I just went ahead and I put a couple of small containers in there, and one in there, just I don't know what I'm going to be able to do with these. I think when uh, we get the actual assembler, I can dismantle this stuff and uh, recycle it and whatnot. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I got a whole bunch of plates going. Uh, I got some stuff in here too. Uh, excuse me a second. Alright, let's try this again. I don't know what's going on with my keyboard. Uh, I'm just going to blame Windows, I always do. Uh, I also notice too, when you're in the menu, it doesn't pause. I can still hear the machines running in the background. At least, that's what I think. Uh, I am in offline, so it should technically be paused, but maybe there is no actual pausing in the game. Uh, but anyways, I do have a ton of plates here. Well, not really a ton. Uh, a few. Uh, sadly, these blocks don't really... <laughs> aren't exactly cheap. It's 25 plates to make one. Uh, so, I'm wondering where I was going to set up. I know I'm going to be leaving a bit of a hole over there. Um, this seems like a good spot here. I do realize I'm going to have to take part of stuff apart and rebuild it. But let's go ahead and I'll uh, start with a block. Um, what color should I make it? You know, I always joke about paving my area. Well, maybe I should just make the, the the base floor black. But hmm, so we have all the colors in the world in this one. Could do a green, so I'll never find it. I think we'll just go with black for now. Or even go with like intense white too. Sure, we'll go with that. Just for now. Okay, I'm going to do three. Uh, I'm going to actually need four because those windmills take a lot of room. Yeah, they're um, a three by three by three footprint. Uh, they're pretty big, pretty big wind turbines, I'll admit that. And I know I probably could be just stopping at the functional line and save myself some plates, but they're there. Alright, I think, I'm not sure, but I think I have enough on me, not on me, on me, but I do have enough to make a second, second wind turbine, so we'll go ahead and grind this thing down, run over here, go up on top of the blocks, oh, this jetpack is so, so aggressive, okay, we'll put one there, and then we'll see if we can get the other one there, I know I can build one, and I'm just going to stop right at the functional hack level. Because I, <laughs> I don't have enough material to do all this. I don't like that color. Let's, uh, actually, we can change the color of that with this uh, what color. It's, uh, it's not it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm sorry, I'm just still getting used to the controls. Nice orange windmills, wind turbines. There we go. Okay, and then we can change that. I like that. And then we change that one too. Once I get the supplies to build it all. So what did I need? I need interior plates, motors, construction components. Let's see what I got in here. Uh, interior plates. Uh, construction components. And that's all I got the room for right now. Now I need motors. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Be nice to have some conveyors. Unfortunately, I don't have those things locked, unlocked yet, and I'm sure they're pretty expensive. And now girders. I know I've got girders. I actually went and made more girders. Yes, I thought I had. Usually, except for the fact that I didn't set the night cycle shorter, so it's uh, still dark. But judging by the light on the s that moon over there, should be coming up soon. I think we'll actually go check that one out. There was one that dropped up on the hill there, but I didn't want to go and check that one out. Uh, what do I need? Computers. 
I'll drag that over and run back over here. Oh, not good enough. So we have a functioning windmill now. Yay, our functioning wind turbine. And I probably have to empty my inventory before I decide to dismantle that. Okay. And let's see what's in here. Lots of stuff. Oh. Can't lose the iron. Need that iron. And I gotta charge up. Charge up. We'll go get the assembler place back down. Or the basic assembler. Come on, come on. And then we'll check that out. It's three, three kilometers away, so it's not that bad. Alright, now I gotta get this back on the bar. Where is it? Basic assembler. I'll take it to you. Right, G, please. And. Oh, God. <laughs> so used to doing that with Planet Nomads. Here I am. I'm the one bringing it up all the time. Actually, what was it? Uh, pick the color. Shift P. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. So we'll go here. And then Shift P. Nope. There we go. That worked. Yeah, now to rotate this thing. We can actually access it. And go weld it up. Yeah, uh, I don't know how it looked, how the game looked before. I know they did uh, update the visuals, same with Medieval the Engineers. So, I really don't know how it looked before, but... See, they're both only seeing 500 watts. But the basic assembler should have enough power now. Uh, let's put some iron in there and see what we can do. Now I'm wondering if it's actually be cheaper to make it in here now. Yeah, it's still seven. And we have power. Good. All right, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to crouch, but we are going to go check that out. See what we can find. Maybe we'll find some good stuff. You know, I gotta admit, these these guys have had always had really good in-game music. Even with Medieval Engineers, it was really, really fitting for the landscape, I'll say. Oh god, I'm not gonna have enough juice to get back. I'm gonna have to walk. <laughs> oh god. No, oh, this better have been worth it. Wow, this crazy terrain. I also discovered too that uh, the timer there is actually a countdown for when they explode. So that's always fun stuff. Oh, more plates. And more interior plating. And right, what else we got here? Where's that button? There's a rock in my way, that's why. Uh, nothing in there. Where's the button? Where's the button? It's gonna be on the other side, of course it is. Alright, we'll get to dismantle then. Get to the button the easy way. There's a right way of doing things, and then there's my way of doing things. And what's in there? Nothing. Is there really no button on this one? Oh, there it is. I see it. Come back here, you. Oh, rainbow gloves. I already got those. Well, it's going to be a bit of a trek back because I don't have any jetpack power. I got, well, fuel. A little bit. And it's dark and I'm up on a mountain and I can't see anything, which means I'm probably going to end up killing myself. But, eh, that's nothing new. Hmm. I'm wondering. I don't know if I should take the chance. Haven't died yet. Yet, I should say. We all know it's gonna happen. This would almost be fun to try to drive drive a buggy down or something. A little rot rock slalom. Anyway, I got a bit of a nighttime trek ahead of me, so I'll meet you back at the pod. 
That didn't work out too well. <laughs> uh, I was trying to use what little jetpack I had left and uh, yeah, I ran out before I could get to the ground and I was going downhill so I bounced and slid and bounced some more. And I'm stuck on a tree or my keyboard's not responding or something. But at least I have a full jetpack now. And I'm going to stop here. So I got fuel to get home. First, the first death. At least it wasn't the first episode. Again, and again, and again. So that's what my body looks like. I was wondering, uh, where are my le head, arms, head, and legs? Oh, I must have fallen off during the fall. Anyway, uh, oh right, free tools. <laughs> Cheating the game, free stuff. Can't wait till I get dismantle those. Anyways. Oh, jeez, what was that? Not enough room? I think I lost some parts. Because I had full inventory too. Uh, anyway, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I actually like seeing those wind turbines spin from a distance. It's pretty cool. You see that? It's like, yay, I'm home. All right, now I got inventory to deal with here. Uh, first of all, uh, what was I missing? Oh yeah, we need to make that cobalt. Ugh. All right, well, what is next on the the agenda here? Let me have a look in uh, here for progression. See, I I saw a light on the container there. I put that there so I could unlock this stuff. Because I was looking at this stuff here. Uh, my what are these panels for? What can we do with stuff like this, right? Programmable block. I can't wait to play around with that. I did try to check it out, but couldn't really figure out how it worked. So, something I'll have to get back to eventually. And there's for building stuff, there is probably the next step. I can afford it. I have no idea how much power it uses. Uh, so, I guess maybe we'll start. I guess I'll start expanding. Let's see how many plates I have on me. 15. Oh yes, we're good to go. Uh, that means I gotta start doing some processing. Really should get that refinery up. Oh, yeah, I don't have, oh, I do have space. Okay, what else can I do here? Yeah, I can't do anything with that. Gotta get rid of this junk. You know what? Just because. I'm sure I'll die and get a few more of them. And get rid of that. Oh, I don't need that welder. I have an upgraded welder. Perfect. Leave it there for somebody who wants it. Okay, uh, let's take this off. Get rid of this. And then we'll start putting more blocks down, I guess. Uh, hmm. What side do I want to go on? Really nice mountains. You know, that was one of the things I really enjoyed about Medieval Engineers was the color, or the, not the color, the, the whole atmosphere that he had. It was really, really well done. Alright. Probably don't even have enough plates to finish this all. Fuel low. Yeah, I know. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna run out pretty soon. I like to t connect the textures too. Except for when you get get different color in there, then you have that white border. That's kind of expected. And this is gonna leave me completely broke the resources, which means I'm gonna have to make more stuff. And I'm out of plates already. Yay! I built eight blocks and I'm broke. All right, so that means I gotta find more iron. Um, I want to see. Let's actually have a look at the refinery here, the basic refinery. I don't know if that's actually going to get us any more than what we have. It's weird how the the assembler is under the basic refinery tech tree, but it's not locked. I know you can get efficiency modules and all that stuff too. So let's see, 120 steel plate, 
20 construction components, 10 motors, and 10 computers. Okay, and I have no idea how much power that's going to need. It's probably going to need a, a wind turbine. Well, that is fine. Actually, what am I doing? Uh, I'm getting supplies together. I'll be right back. Okay, I have just about everything ready. The only thing that I don't have is uh, plates. And I saw this one land, so let's go check it out. I got a full jetpack, so it's not too far away, so we should be able to find it. Uh, definitely iron is going to be an issue. Uh, I don't know if iron is found the same way as it was in Medieval Engineers, where you just looked for the red dirt. I'm going to assume not. Alright. Oh, it's a parachute. I saw the, the, the big thing over there. I was like, what the hell is that? Uh, you gotta wait for it to fall. It's hilarious. Okay, not stopped. Alright, where is that button? Give me the goodies. Give me the goodies. Where are you? I have no idea. Of course it's gonna land button side down again. Take those. I already have one of those, so oh, I don't care about it. Uh, what I do care about is this button. There it is. And I didn't get anything. But I will take the plates. Why not, right? Only one at a time, but hey. It's one less that I gotta make. But, yeah, anyways, I gotta go get a whole bunch of plates together, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to get the refinery up. Okay, I have everything ready. So, let's go ahead and check out this refinery, see if I actually have enough power to actually run this thing. So, we're gonna go ahead, of course, put it up top here, on this nice little platform we went, went ahead and made. If I can get up here. There we go. Might as well fill this in. I'm at it, because I got the extra plates. And now for the refinery. And for what I remember, this is actually a fairly big block. Well, the, the regular refinery is. Don't know how big this one is. Okay, refinery, uh, what color should we make this? Hmm. That will go with a nice deep red. Oh. No, not pink. Not pink. There we go. And I'll just stick it right on the end there. Oh, me and my double clicking. Blame the mouse, blame Windows. I don't care, they're both Microsoft products. It's it's their fault no matter what. I don't know what the hell is going on here. If it was my the keys my the batteries in my keyboard are red light would be blinking and I don't see a red light unless the, <laughs> the light burned out. Or there's not enough battery power to actually power the light. Who knows? But... Uh, come on. There we go. Wow. That's red. Okay, let's see if I actually have enough power for this. Let's see how much power it uses. One kilowatt. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I have anything to refine. I do have that magnesium, so let's go get some magnesium, shall we? Because I got that actually exposed right now, so I might as well see if we can do anything with it. And I'm starting to get a bit of choppiness. I sometimes wonder if maybe Windows is having memory management issues. And I get that a lot with a lot of stuff. I play it too long, then I start having problems. That's not crouch. It's the opposite of crouch. Alright, let's see this magnesium. Gotta careful I don't dig myself into a hole here. Alright, uh, Magnesium, aha. First chunk. Uh, all the stones in the way. Oh, I just picked up some stone, didn't I? Yes, I did. Wasting my inventory space. But, you get the gif. I'm gonna 
load up on magnesium here, and then I'll bring you back when I'm back at the uh, when I'm back at the refinery. Okay, I'm back. I do have a full load of magnesium on me. I have absolutely no idea what it turns into. I'm assuming magnesium. And we have enough power. Oh my god. Nice. Let's see if it actually shows me what's going on here. Does it tell me how much it's actually using right now? Current output 165 kilowatts. Really? With poor wind conditions. Wow. Alright, so that's getting magnesium powder. Nice. So we do have that. Now we gotta start fighting down here. I have absolutely no idea where the iron's gonna be. So that means I gotta start looking for it. Same old, same old, right? I was sort of, like I said, I was trying to look around for it earlier. Um. Might have to get to the, the extent of actually, you know, creating some sort of vehicle we could drive around with a, a an ore ore detector on it. Because I think, as far as I know, if you're walking around with a drill in your hand, you should pick them up. I did find uh, found some ice over here, but don't really need the ice right now. Well, we do technically because uh, uh, the H H two O two generator is gonna run out eventually technically not a generator, it's more like a refiner. It's just refining ice into hydrogen and oxygen. But, uh, I'm gonna look around, see if I can find anything, and I'll bring you back if I find something. Alright, well I haven't been able, to, been able to find any iron around here, not, at least not around here anyways. I found some ice over there, a lot of silicone and magnesium. But, yeah, there is absolutely no iron like in this general area that I can see. I think I might have to Go up to the rock face there and start looking for exposed veins or something like that just to get something started at least because these things are so expensive. But I think what we can do before we end this is see what else we have left to do to unlock stuff. Uh, I would do want to try to get mobile as soon as soon as soon as possible. Uh, the wheels, from what I've seen, haven't aren't exactly too expensive, so it's relatively reasonable. What is that oh, parachute? Fight, see, yada, yada, yada. So what we'll do is uh, let's go ahead and it's already on the hot bar. Let's uh, build the landing gear. Build the landing gear. We can have our own Rex laying around. Steel plates. Ugh. Uh, I gotta. I gotta get some steel plates hang on. Well, I don't have enough to actually make any steel plates right now. Okay probably make a few but it's seven iron a piece and I got a, like 170 iron it's not getting a hundred of them yet. not getting a hundred of them anytime soon all that magazine all that stone was what was it like 2,000 kilos or something like that got 12 kilos of powder Wow expensive but this is how we progress this is how we do it yeah okay, take you Go and put you over here. And this is gonna unlock all the vehicle parts. Right there. So then we go here, and then so we have access to the wheels, cockpits. I uh, don't really care about the guns at the moment. The thrusters would be nice. Uh, I think we need to get reactors for that. Uh, reactors are basically useless until I find uranium, so we'll have to get into that. Uh, this I'll have to get eventually, but before we before we dismantle the ugly blue thing on the lawn there. And other than that, everything else is basically unlocked. So that's all the conveyors there. Uh, I like I was looking at some of these things like we have ejectors to automatically eject inventory cargoes from inventory. And you have a collector here to collect it, so you can just drive right up, hit a button, have everything pumped into the conveyor system, and you move on your way. That's really interesting. Hydrogen. Oh yeah, I guess so. If we have hydrogen generators. I guess we would have hydrogen. Uh, what else we got? And then this is all the mining stuff. Uh, again, 
automated mining would be great too. Uh, we will have to get that get to that eventually. Uh, what do we have here? Refinery. What do I need for this thing? Metal grids. Yeah, we, not even until we get cobalt. And uh, I know we can find cobalt in the asteroids. I don't know if we'll be able to find it here on the planet, but we'll find out eventually. And the ore detector is something that goes on a vehicle, but I got to make a vehicle to do that in the first place. So let's go ahead and build a wall, shall we? Just to get some progress, some progress done today. And why are you not pl building? Oh, interior plate. Uh, that makes sense. Good thing I got a whole bunch of them in here. Alright, and we will just place a wall on the outside. Why not? Whatever gets the job done. Nice textures, I gotta admit that. Alright, take that down. Bring this up, holding up. Yes, it's, it's smart of me unlocking all the blocks and I have absolutely no supplies to build anything. That's how I work. I wasn't doing the refinery, I was doing. Okay, that's all done. Okay, that's unlocked. We don't need to worry about the conveyor. I may as well. Just. Just because. I love how you just drop stuff in the midair like that. That's what I did when I was in the, the creative world I went into. I was just flying around, spamming blue blocks everywhere. Just like going crazy with them. Okay, what is next in our tech tree? Okay, so assembler. Again, I need cobalt for that. That's definitely going to be the bottleneck here. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Cobalt. need cobalt for everything. If, if they mention Xanite, I pack it in. Nah, I'm just joking. Alright, uh, yeah, I think that's about all we can really do until we get some higher tier stuff. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and build a cockpit. Do I have enough to build a cockpit? No, I don't. Uh, control station? Yes, I do, I do believe. 100 computers! Oh my god. Perfect spot for it. And I need more computers. I should have some a whole bunch of those things. Somewhere. Somewhere I have them. At least I think I do. Got a lot of gravel, I have absolutely no idea what that's for. I have no computers today. But I think I have enough to actually make some. Hang on. See what we got. Uh, sorry, I'm lost. I uh, cannot make computers in here because I don't have any any uh, silicon wafers in there. Everything's in here. All right, computers. Can actually make a hundred of them. And I'm wondering too about these uh, these upgrade modules you can get. They have um, where are they? Right here. I wonder if they're, if you could stack them, if they're cumulative. If I could put like four speed modules on something to get this thing crafting 100 plates in a second. Probably not. Wishful thinking. But, you know me, if there's a way to do it, I'll find a way. But then I'll just go ahead and make 20 of them instead. Displays. There's one. Uh, what else we got? Nothing in there. I don't think I had anything in here, but I'm going to check it anyways because you never know. Nope. So I got to make some displays too, and I think those are fairly cheap. Uh, let's see here. I'll go ahead and make 10 of those. Energy low. Energy low? Oh. Maybe I should take my visor up. I might actually save my power. Alright, now I can build new blocks. Yay! The, mo the most... Uh, 
most advancement this episode and I'll probably see in all the entire series. Alright, other than that, I think that is it. Uh, what is this? Oh, they do have cryo chambers. I was wondering about that. As far as I know, I don't really have any way to sleep right now. So we're toughing it out the nights, and the nights aren't exactly quick, right? Well, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, I think definitely in between now and the next episode, I'm going to have to go and try to find some sort of iron supply because, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to set up uh, like 20 quarries completely automated just to get the kind of iron I need to build some of the crazy ass shit I want to do. But anyways, I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hit the stupid, not stupid wall button. There we go, fully visible. All right, anyways. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.